Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another year of what I got my kids for Christmas. Uh, I have five kids. They are, I have a 13 year old girl, an 11 year old boy, a nine year old boy, a five year old girl, and a, at Christmas, she will be six month old little girl. Um, and we follow that four gift rule rhyme, the something you want, something you need. We do something STEAM, science, technology, or technology, engineering, art, or math instead of something to wear because seasons don't really change here in Florida and they never need like a new coat or anything like that. And then something to read. We also do a secret sibling where every sibling chooses a name and shops for that sibling. That is where you'll see like the super like fun toys and action figures kind of gifts. John and I typically don't buy them those because they only get one something they want from us. Um, and so that's really fun to receive from a sibling. And then we do a group gift um, in lieu of like tons of presents. We do one big group gift. And uh, the grandparents, if they wanna contribute towards something, they like to contribute toward that group gift. The last few years, it's been a trip. It's been like a swing set in the past. This year, it's a trip again. It's a pretty big trip. The longest one our kids have ever taken and John and I cover, you know, the base costs of the trip. And then if grandparents want to get the kids something for Christmas, they usually give something toward the trip. So um, this year we have one grandparent, for example, who's giving the kids funding money for the trip. And then another grandparent who's giving them fun stuff to do on um, the trip, like fun activities to do, um, you know, things to do in a car, or plane, things like that. So it's helpful to have like a purpose to like funnel the grandparents desire to give lots of stuff to the kids toward a common goal so that we don't just end up with like a thousand plastic toys. So that's the long story short. I've, people have asked me for years how we've gotten the grandparents on board with a group gift. I think I talked about it last year or the year prior. So just to not take 25 minutes to introduce this video. I'll find what video it was and I'll link it down below so you guys can see how we got the grandparents on board with a group gift instead of tons of stuff. So uh, I'm gonna show you those four gifts. My kids haven't done their secret sibling shopping yet. We do that the week of Christmas and I always make a video about that. So this is their something you want, something you need, something steam and something to read. And then next week I'm showing you guys their stockings and that is where I go overboard and don't. I haven't scaled that back yet. I love stocking stuff or shopping. I just have so much fun with stockings. It's a whole thing here at our house. We take a really long time to do stockings in the mornings. Um, so, and my kids actually think it's their favorite part as well. So I'm gonna start oldest to youngest. I'm gonna start with my 13 year old daughter, show you what her want, need, steam, and read are, and then I'll move down in age. So. My daughter's something you want is a pair of Vans. She wanted this floral pair especially. She gave me a few options, but this pair is super cute. And so I grabbed this for her. So that is her something you want. Her something you need is this. These are the warm up booties for dance. I'm actually gonna I'm kind of vacuum sealed and take them out of the packaging, but I think I got her gray and black. These are something that she will need for all of her dance competitions and conventions that are coming up. Um, so these just go over your dance shoes and keep you warmed up once you have warmed up. And um, you know, when it is winter in Florida, it's also nice to have these to put over your dance shoes, but they're pricey and not something that I would typically buy just for everyday use. It's just one of those things that um, aren't necessary, so it's a fun Christmas gift. Her something steam is this DIY miniature house. I got her Kathy's flower house. These little miniature houses are so cute, and I think I might, you know, grab a few of them for her. I think maybe she might have one in her Easter basket. So it actually requires batteries, it lights up. That's adorable. I didn't realize that. So it's just like a little miniature house that you put together. So I've had my eye on this for a while um, and it keeps getting suggested to me online and I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to give it to her. And then her something to read is this infographic Bible visualizing the drama of God's word. Bella is, she has totally turned into a student of the word. She, as of right now, 13 years old, 
would like to go to school for ministry, which makes me so happy. I love, she's, you know, got her eye on a few different um, colleges, <laughs> killing me, but she will be in high school next year, so it's not an inappropriate time for her to start dreaming about those days. Um, so, this book, I've seen it in a local coffee shop, and I thought she would really enjoy it. So it's just a bunch of different visualizations of different elements of the Bible and scripture. Um, here's, for example, the Ark and the Tabernacle. And then you have, there's a really cool visual on cross references. This is how God has spoken before and after the silence. This is a really great gift idea also for adults. I would say this is more for adults, but I do believe Bella's ready for it. This is Solomon's wealth, living the dream, items attributed to the wealth, um, transport people, wisdom, money. So it shows you um, each little figure represents, for example, um, transport, 60 ships. Um, so each little ship represents 60, each horse represents 12,000 horses. So um, you get a visualization of that. There's praise and worship stances, the meaning and the moves. I mean, this is super cool. I might steal it from her now and again. Um, but it's a really neat thing and I think she's gonna love it. Oh, here it is, yay, I found it. All the prophecies about Jesus that are um, a big picture view of those promised in the old and fulfilled in the new. So that is her something to read. Um, moving on to my 11 year old son. This is, this was a, this, he promised us this is what he wanted. So we went with it, but it's not really a big toy thing, but his something you want was this one specific Pokemon card. And it is the Alakazam, like the first one. And it, you know, he wanted it to be in a certain condition. So I looked around and it, you know, we found it for the best price, but it was definitely the price of a something you want for Christmas. So that's his something you want. I, you know, I'm acting like, I don't know, it's not a big deal, but it, to an 11 year old boy, it's a really cool gift. I just know nothing about it. So to me, I'm like, that's what you want. But he has been actually asking for that for his birthday, for, you know, everything. So I know he wants it. I know he's going to love it. Something you need is not here. Um, it's actually at his karate studio. I have to grab it when I'm not there with the boys, but they both wanted new judo gis. My boys do karate and jujitsu and they wear certain gis for that, but they also do judo and they wanted the blue judo gis. They're thicker. You can kind of toss people around more with them. I don't know. Um, and they're stronger and you know, he really, they both really wanted those, um, but they don't need them because they can wear their regular gis to judo, which is what they've been doing for the last year or so. So for Christmas, we got them each the blue judo geese. So they have those geese. So that's his something you need. So Pokemon card is his want. Judo gi is something he needs. Something steam. He is actually going to love this so much. So this is a blank game board. I got him the deluxe set. There's a regular one and then the deluxe set. The deluxe set comes with a few additional pieces like I think cardboard characters you can decorate instead of just like the plastic characters and things like that. So this comes with a blank game board, a blank box, 108 blank playing cards, five blank dice, two standard dice, eight multicolor player tokens, one blank rule sheet, one sand timer, eight blank player boards with multicolor stands, and one game spinner with a blank base. It's literally a white box with all white supplies inside to color and decorate and plan and if you actually check this out on the Amazon page I'll link this below but there are they give examples of different board games it's so cool whenever Jesse gets the chance to do a group presentation or project he loves doing board games he loves making board games he will make them on paper all the time and so this is so incredibly perfect for him so he's probably going to open this up and start working on it on Christmas day when he gets it and then his something to read. He wants these books. He loves these 
5,000 awesome facts about everything books. He loves these National Geographic kids books. So I got him these. He also loves the Weird But True books. Those have been his obsession for a while. So I got him the set of one, two, and three, 5,000 awesome facts about everything. And this was originally the thing he asked for for his something you want. So he asked for this and the Pokemon card. He, I think, kind of maybe forgot about the something you read category, although we tell them, like, we pick the something you read. You don't ask for it. So maybe he doesn't know that I got him this, but um, he, this was originally the only thing he wanted for Christmas. So when he thought he could just ask me for one thing, this is what he asked for. So he is going to love these. Moving on to my nine-year-old son, his something you want is Animal Crossing, which is a Nintendo Switch game. Um, my daughter has it too, but apparently you, I don't know if you can't share it or you, they don't want to share it or I'm not sure, but he got this. Um, his something you need was also that judo gi. His something steam, this is super neat. This is RD3000 by Educational Insights. Learn to code line by line. It's a coding Wi-Fi enabled drawing robot. So you code, um, Artie is the drawing robot that helps you learn how to code, program your creation using his built-in apps and he'll draw for you. So you can use um, a tablet and the app and program it and then it'll draw what you programmed it to draw. So this he's gonna love. He also, he just had a birthday. He wanted a drone for his birthday. He's really into the gadgety things. Um, he's gonna love that and then his his books his something to read so I mentioned that my older son loves the weird but true books and the National Geographic books my younger son loves them too but <laughs> my kids are really protective of their books and so I got him his own set of books I got him this ultimate weird but true set of three books so this is um, set one two and three um, for him and these are 1,000 facts and photos in each book. And so I thought, uh, I thought it would be nice for them to each have their own kind of version of the weird but true or awesome facts books. And then maybe, just maybe, they will allow each other to look at their books. <laughs> we'll see. Um, they're really funny with it though. They, they aren't protective of much, but their books are one thing. I think maybe they don't feel like siblings treat their books with respect. God forbid somebody fold a page and ruin their book. You guys know we're, we can be the same way as adults, right? So they each have their own set of those books. My five-year-old daughter, her something you want for the third year in a row is a Barbie color reveal. This year I got her the color reveal tie-dye fashion maker. Um, so she will be stoked on that. Her something you need was also a set of those little dance booties. Um, same brand, it's the Block brand. And look how tiny, they're so cute. <laughs> she actually has quite a few dances in competition this year. So these will actually be useful for her as well. Not just like a, it's a mixture of, she sees the older girls have these and she'll actually need them. <laughs> so that's her something you need. Um, her something steam is this, I love Rainbow's craft kit. If you ask her what her favorite color is, she will say rainbow. She's said it for a couple years. She's adorable and loves all things girly and loves a good craft kit. So I love rainbows with six colorful projects and she will tear through this. We will probably be making rainbow crafts on Christmas day. And then her something to read is this, the wrong fairy tale set of books. So cute. It's Goldilocks and the Three Pigs. It's just mixed up fairy tales. Jack and the Three Bears, Red Riding Hood and Three Billy Goats Gruff, and Cinderella and the Seven Dwarfs. And it's just a cute set of storybooks about the mixed up fairy tales. So she is going to love those. And then last but not least, my six month old daughter who could likely care less that it's Christmas, but my kids will want to know that I got her one thing from each category. Otherwise I would have gotten her like one thing, but they're gonna wanna know like, what's Josephine's want? What's Josephine's need? So Josephine's want is this. Okay, I was like, what, what, is, what am I gonna put for each category? 
Uh, there is a company called Explorn Toys that we actually have purchased from for years. They recently went out of business and I think it was September, so they sold everything at like 75% off. So I probably paid like $4 for this, but this is a set of blocks. Does she build with blocks yet? No. Is she at an age where the kids can build for her and she can knock them over? Yes. So I got her a set of blocks as her something you want. Her something you need is a walker. I think it, the brand name is Juvi. It was a Black Friday deal. It's not here yet. I'll put a picture in right here. I was looking for a walker that didn't have a ton of like overstimulating get gizmos and gadgets on it. Loved this one. One of my friends has it and so I grabbed that. Um, I'll link it down below as well. Her something steam <laughs> is this. This is also from Explore and Toys. I probably also paid five dollars for this. Um, it's the nesting or the stacking um, that say what are they called stacking rainbow stacker circle it's wooden though so i like that instead of the plastic ones and then her something to read these books have been a favorite of mine since annabeth was a toddler it's the that's not my set of books so we have quite a few of them still i never got rid of them I, these ones are ones that i don't have the heart to get rid of i will have these books for my grandkids i'll keep them um but it's just like that's not my fox it's back is too soft that's not my fox it's paws are too fuzzy so i got that's not my fox that's not my lamb that's not my bee that's not my angel and um that's not my kitten and that's not my elephant and i also got that's not my elf i think that is going to go in um her shoes or buy her shoes on saint nicholas day so that is everything that i got for my five kids for christmas this year and then like i said one big group gift which is a trip and then um they will all have a nice toy from their secret sibling. Um, you like for Annabeth, it'll probably be another big Barbie set. And then for our, you know my boys, it's usually some kind of fun toy that I know nothing about, but their siblings are really tuned into. So the secret sibling gift is the last gift they get every Christmas. They open all of ours first, and then they all sit around and do the secret sibling reveal. And it is always their favorite present of the year. So. That's everything my five kids are getting for Christmas this year. Let me know in the comments down below what your kids are getting for Christmas this year if you want to share. And I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.